In this video, we'll discuss the use of Infoburst to deliver Excelsius dashboards, discuss various destinations and formats for dashboard delivery, and the bursting of dashboard data sources to deliver personalized dashboards with embedded data for offline viewing. In Infoburst, we start with the dashboard, the SWIFT file that was produced or published from Excelsius. We'll be working with Dashboard 1 and Dashboard 2. So we've published the SWIFT from Excelsius, we've cataloged it within Infoburst, and then we take that SWIFT and set up a delivery, we call it a burst. Let's take a look at this first one, Dashboard Delivery. And this is very simple. We take the SWIFT file and we set up one or more deliveries where the delivery includes the destination and the format. So let's take a look at this first example, email HTML. Our destination is email inbox, and here we designate one or more email recipients to receive the dashboard. In this simple example, I'm using my Infoburst user account and sending to the associated email address. I can add other email addresses from a variety of sources, but in this example, everyone's receiving the same dashboard. In our next example, we'll look at how we can personalize dashboard data per email recipient. So we've designated our email recipient, and we move on to the format. We have two options for delivering the SWIFT. In this example, we'll be using the HTML format, where we are wrapping the SWIFT in HTML so that when the user opens their email, they see the dashboard in the message, and it's fully interactive there uh, in their email client. In our next example, we'll look at the delivery of a native SWIFT. So we've selected HTML. Let's have a look at the results of this dashboard delivery. Over on our email client, we see the message that was delivered by Infoburst. You can see that our Dashboard 1 SWIFT is rendered inline in the email message, so the dashboard is fully interactive within the message. Very attractive way to deliver dashboard content. Now this dashboard is an example of a connected dashboard where it's pulling its data directly from the Infoburst server. The Infoburst server is responsible for collecting data from various sources, web intelligence, direct database queries. That data is then cached on the Infoburst server, and the dashboard at runtime is pulling that data directly from the Infoburst cache. I do recommend viewing our dashboard data management video on the Infoburst YouTube channel as it goes into greater detail about the connectivity options within Infoburst for dashboard data. In our second example, we'll be bursting our dashboard data to produce unique data for each dashboard consumer, then delivering those dashboards for offline consumption. Our data source for this dashboard is a web intelligence report. The report contains a parameter for state. We'll use this parameter to burst the report to generate unique caches for each state, take that state's data embed it in a SWIFT, then deliver that state-specific dashboard to the appropriate state recipient. Let's look at the XDC or XML data cache where we'll be managing the data from this web intelligence report. So here is a data source. I've selected my web intelligence report. I've then selected the, the appropriate part or range of data that we'll be using in our dashboard. Once I've made this selection, then we need to make a decision about how to burst this document. So my goal is to burst for a list of western states, I need a list of values. In this example I'm using a list of values I've derived from a SQL Server database using a query. I've then applied that query to the document parameter. When we refresh our XDC, we'll end up with a unique cache for each of those western states. Now that we have our data cache, let's look at the dashboard delivery. In this burst, we have our Dashboard 2 SWIFT, and again, we're electing to deliver this SWIFT to a list of email recipients. Now remember, we're bursting, we're generating unique dashboards for each state. We then like to deliver the appropriate state dashboard to the appropriate state recipient. To achieve this, we're utilizing a database query where we're looking at a table that contains our state information and the email addresses for those states. So we're going to look up the appropriate email address based on that state value and deliver the dashboard. For our format, we're going with the native SWIFT, and we're electing to embed the data from our XDC2 that we just previewed. 
and we simply execute our burst to deliver our dashboards and we can look at the results of that delivery in our email client. So I have four mailboxes set up each designated to receive a different state's dashboard. In my email box I receive the Arizona dashboard. I can open that dashboard, interact with it, consume my data completely offline, no connection required. We can look at other recipients uh, and their appropriate state dashboards. So Paul here received the Oregon dashboard. We can open that up. Remember, this dashboard was engineered as a connected dashboard, but we took that bursted cache data, embedded it in the SWIFT, and now we can take this dashboard on the road. To recap, InfoBurst can be used to deliver dashboards to a variety of destinations and in a variety of formats. In our example, we looked at delivering dashboards inline in an email message. We also looked at the personalization of dashboards by bursting the dashboard data, embedding that data in the SWIFT, and delivering the dashboard for offline consumption.